Hello, my name is Chloe. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to 66 books. <laughs> So I won't lie, I heard about this place on TikTok and um, apparently, as per Faith, the fountain of knowledge, Faith, um, this place has been open for years but TikTok made it go crazy. So I'm hoping it's not too crazy today. I live a long way from 66 books. We're talking, I'm going to be in the car, it's about half six now and I'm leaving now to get there for ten. That's including a stop for food. So like. I'm leaving quite early, um, but <laughs> I'm meeting Emily there, uh, as you all know if you watched last week's vlog, and I haven't addressed the fact that this is going up when the weekly vlog should be. Don't panic, the weekly vlog is coming, but things are happening, which mean it can't right now. So here is a book about 66 books, and here is a book, here is a vlog about 66 books instead. It is half six in the morning, I need to go and check my tyres, because I'm having tyre issues, um, and then... I will be going, I'll be en route and hopefully filming lots of today. Let's hope. First update, I was hoping to do this after about 10 minutes of driving because I was going to go to McDonald's. But, oh ice blonde latte is good. I didn't go to McDonald's because I was like I'll get on the, go to the first service station. I've got like three hours of motorway driving, I'll get to the first service station. Service station, I can't even speak. Um, but I missed it. <laughs> so an hour and a half later, here we are. I haven't eaten or had anything to drink today, so I was shaky. I'm a nervous motorway driver anyway, and I haven't had any breakfast. So we have Mal's Christmas stars. It's what's gonna keep me sustained on the M6, then the M1, and then the M25. I tried to eat it all in one, it wasn't happening. So they're now stored, ready to go. I wanted to listen to an audiobook on the way here because I was going to set that up at the services but we're already nearly there so I might stick with the tunes. God I sound 80 but I need to get going again because Emily will now be waiting for me because I didn't tell her when I was leaving because I thought I was going to be quicker. Chaos. <laughs> doing this vlog is <laughs> show you what we got today at 66 books emily would you like to start <laughs> <laughs> that was like a tv interview <laughs> emily what did you get over to you thank you Chloe. No back problem. to the studio how many did you get i got five for me <laughs> and then two for a friend oh you did didn't you yes yeah, so that's the two for the friend i'll just do, do the two for the friend she's reading the twisted tales so <laughs> I got her reflection in a whole new world. Because <laughs> Emily's a nice person. Oh no, and I got one that's not for me. Yes. I got a copy of Mindhunter, which is the Chloe's Crime Scene Corner Wow, uh, book for Soon. May? No, that's too far. Um, April. 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 Um, so I'm going to do a giveaway on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and everything for a copy of the book to join in because they had it. Is it six books? I mean, I've got a lot. I've got, um, I've got nine. Well, we got two the same. Oh, we did, we did. So the ones we got the same. <laughs> we, oh, we've had them in the same. <laughs> there we go. Number one is Notes on an Execution by Daniel. Oh, God. I don't know. Dania Kakafta? Kafka? Kakafta? Kakafta? 
Jessica. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry. Um, but we both got that one literally in the last five minutes. Yeah. Because <laughs> you went off to get it and I've disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't actually know what it's about, to be quite honest. Someone's about to be executed. And it's... No, it's the story of... <laughs> I don't know what it's about. <laughs> I read it earlier. I, I just like the fox. <laughs> no, and I've seen it everywhere. Yeah. Um, but actually, I should probably say, if people don't know about 66 Books, is it's 70% off the price on the book. So this was 70% off of 16.99, which mental maths about is not computing. five, was it? Yeah, the math is not mathing. The other one we got the same is The Couple at the Table by Sophie Hanna which just sounded interesting and we've just seen it in Tesco on the way back as well yes we for, did for cheaper <laughs> <laughs> because it's not the hardback it's like one pound cheaper um, but this is the author of Haven't They Grown which I'm reading next week sometime soon um, and it's about a honeymoon remote resort and a murder threat of the, the couple on the table closest to you are gonna murder you kind of thing yeah. Emily looks impressed by flicking. Oh, there you go. It's just I spotted. There we go. Another font in there. Oh, so I was just intrigued. Why do I want to know? I don't know. Is it? You gonna spoil yourself instantly? Oh, she's writing a letter. Ooh. Oh. Oh wait. Looks good. It. Looks good. Okay. One of the ones I got myself because I'm gonna be here a bit longer than Emily. Um, is a nice. I need to through that you? <laughs> another copy of the woman in black i wanted this edition so that i can annotate it and keep it because i have a ratty old movie copy and i didn't want it so should i do another one to go for it also love and gelato because i wanted this god ages ago um and it's a cute ya contemporary it's pretty much it emily's turn <laughs> um well this is probably isn't a surprise for most people <laughs> Someone wants to cause my Patrick Ness. But it's the uh, special collector's edition. And how could I not? Because Patrick Ness is love and life. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my like fourth copy. Good so, yeah. for um, you. Part two more for Chloe. <laughs> um, oh, this is what the only one I got today that I hadn't heard about until today uh, is Kissing Emma by Shappy Corsandi, who is the British Iranian comedian. I don't know if it's YA or not. Well, it says not suitable for younger readers, which makes me think it's like old YA rather than adult. Emma is beautiful. Men stare at her. Girls are jealous of her. A, a darkly gripping novel about power and beauty. Sounded cool. Right. Uh, and then I also got Bad Girl Reputation by Al Kennedy. We're not sure if this is a sequel or a companion to Good Girl Complex. Um, but yeah, again, cheat. <laughs> It's fine. It's alive. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> this is the only one I actually had on my list before going in, and it's Snow Country. <laughs> By hold it up close. <laughs> I see it focusing. There we go. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just seem to like Japanese literature at the minute, and I saw this ages ago on a novella table in Waterstones in London, and bought it, and it's nice and short. So. Sorted. I can't even remember what it's about. No, <laughs> but um, my next one is Sundial by Katrina Ward, which I do know how you say that now. Which apologies for everyone who watched my um, <laughs> bookshelf tour. Um, I actually have no idea what this is about. I know that Christina read it. I can't even remember if she loved it, which is a problem. I'm sure she did. I'm sure she did. She said it's weird. I'm sure she said it's weird. And I just heard it described as weird, so it was on my list because it's weird. Um, oh, I'll do this one. The only other one I got from there, because I have another book today, is Angelica Frankenstein. Yeah, Angelica. I really doubted myself. Angelica Frankenstein makes her match by Sally Thorne, who is the author of The Hating Game. And I believe this came in a YA fairy loop sometime recently. Um, I realise these books are very far away. This book. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a retelling. It's wet. Why is it wet? I'll find out why it's wet. <laughs> There's that one. Um, what's your last one? <laughs> the last one I got was definitely uh, an impulse buy, but I saw it because it's pretty and I like Oscar Wilde and it's just a compendium of previously ungathered anecdotes, <laughs> epigrams, as, um, as, uh, asides. Asides. That yeah, that was a struggle. <laughs> and accounts. 
Um, but yeah, just little short snippets and I like Oscar Wilde. Intelligent. So my book <laughs> that, I, <laughs> that I got in Tesco, because it's now in Tesco, is Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. And I've not even read the first book in this series yet, Things You Never Got Over. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was just like... Condensation? Yeah. Condensation? No, it's... <laughs> I'm leaving that. <laughs> um, there's nothing really else for this vlog because it's just the 66 bucks one. Um, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Some random be real. Um, no, for full, I guess for full context, like what's the word, transparency? Like our actual day. Yes. Um, we got there, or I got there, Emily would know. <laughs> that sounds like, it was like Emily was late. <laughs> no. Whoa. It was my fault. Um, I got there about 20 past nine. Yeah, I think that's what you think. And um, the car park was already full, so we were being redirected elsewhere on an industrial estate, which wasn't ideal. Um, <laughs> and the car park, maybe don't rely on the car park. Because right. um, it was packed and quite difficult. Yes. So we ended up ditching our cars on a housing estate yeah. <laughs> around the corner. Oh, walk away, but it was it was fine. It was fine. Um and then we did have to queue for I wanna say forty minutes maybe. Yeah, at least. I'd say at least forty minutes. I'm not we no. didn't time it. Um but then we did spend a solid three hours, three hours in there. Um, which is probably worth the queue outside and people were queuing when we left. Yeah. Obviously we don't know when they got there, but they were doing a one in, one out system. So for us to be queuing outside at 10, yeah, the people who were queuing at one, I uh, don't know how long they've been there, but yeah, I'm not like trying to talk down on it, I'm just giving like realistic expectations. Yeah, don't, I think it, don't go if you don't want to queue, find somewhere invented for your car. Yeah. And I mean, my back hurts. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> That's my own There's fault for the shuffle walk. Shuffling around. Shuffle walking, not the, the aisles aren't massive. <laughs> yeah. But I do think, and I, I will say this, not that sounded really weird how I said that, but um I have heard from other friends that it used to be quite quiet and that since TikTok it has gone crazy. So I hope you enjoy some YouTube content <laughs> <laughs> on 66 books. Um let me know yeah. questions if you have any. Or Emily. Emily can answer your questions. Yes. You can tag her in the comments. <laughs> I'll go through the yeah, go through all the comments for Emily. <laughs> um, but that's kind of it. I hope you enjoyed. Why is this awkward now that we're ending a clip? <laughs> I can talk to a camera, but soon it's like ending a video. It feels a bit weird. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>